<laughs> Good evening. And welcome to a new season of Weird But Sexy. I am your host. Mm -mm. This is just too much in here. Brief girl. You want camera, you gloss this. Okay. Alright. Cause what? I hear things falling and flying. How can I even feng shui like this? All I can say is, picture me rolling. Yay. Okay. Good evening and welcome to another new season, first episode of Weird But Sexy. I am your host, Chrissy Lee, and I'm going to give you some tea, okay? <laughs> so, as you all know, last year was uh, crazy for me. If you are a fan and you've been listening, you know that I've had my fair share of time traveling, generational curse breaking, you know, and really just getting in tune with the spiritual side and getting a lot of wisdom from a lot of my ancestors. But where I am today is congratulating myself for actually making it through the spiritual awakening, the dark night of the soul, okay? And I'm finally in a place of self-actualization and understanding the bigger picture, the bigger scheme of things. And I'm ready. I'm ready to finally speak what it is, is my truth, unapologetically, confidently, and just happy, right? I'm just happy. I'm happy to finally be at a point in my life where I finally can understand the things that made no sense to me. I really thought I was going crazy for a moment in the world, my belief systems, the things that were instilled in me for so long in my life just didn't seem to fit. And I've actually gotten to a point where I don't even really like meat like that. When I go to eat it, all I can think about is humans. I know that's beyond a lot of people, but I can't eat it. I just can't. I see too much when I touch it, and I'm just like, oh, no, I am good. I'm good. But needless to say, I am coming to bring you a new season, a new way of how I want to do things. And with that being said, in this new way, we're unapologetic, right? We're just going to do the damn thing. And hopefully the way I do stuff is going to get more comforting and comfortable over time, right? Um, the first thing that I really wanted to discuss today was the idea of what everybody has been calling the matrix, dun, 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 right? And what that really means, and I've literally had my fair share of research and understanding and, and searching externally for understanding right especially like we all do when we're going through a spiritual awakening and nothing is fucking making sense you know and i mean no one really knows what to tell you and they're like i don't know what you can do um and what i've come to the realization of is the matrix is literally literally designed to keep us robotic that's literally the simplest form of what the matrix is and there are so many odds stacked against those who are more aware, who are more keen and more conscious of what is actually going on, who are more conscious of the conversations they have, the words they speak. And it's, it's mind boggling to those who are not so conscious when they see a person like me and how we're operating and they don't understand. Their first go-to is, I'm not with that new age stuff. And it's honestly not new age, right? Like these spiritual awakenings have been a, a, a big cornerstone of history. It's just that a lot of history has erased the idea of a spiritual awakening or watered it down or, you know, different people have interpreted it to mean 
um, whatever they can feel what that was and translate it into the words based on their perspectives. But honestly, a spiritual awakening has been around since the beginning of times and civilization. We have the Book of the Dead that really speaks about spirituality, and they really spend their entire waking life um, preparing for that spiritual journey. And a lot of people have been able to translate that to mean, you know, when you die, because it's the dead. But honestly, it's the, the spiritually dead is what they're talking about. And so with understanding the matrix, understanding the dark night of the soul, understanding the twin flame journey that everyone so loves to romanticize and make it like it is a fairy tale happily ever after, which it is absolutely not. It is a journey of somebody marrying your shadow and not just your shadow, but your great self too. And, and trying to find the balance in that and understanding the polarities and why both polarities are important in the work. It is a lot. And that's why I had to come back to finish my podcast, finish what I started. See, I prematurely started last year in August of 2022, and I fully was still in the student mode and and not really understanding what was actually happening to me to be able to finally really put the verbiage on what I was feeling, what I was seeing, what I was experiencing. And now coming back, I'm just like, the honest truth is no one really knows everything. We can all have a truth. And all of our truths are very important because our truths are based on our experiences. But the common denominator in everything that we do has to be love. Love is what is very important outside of belief systems, appearances, judgment, hate, love is the choice. And that is why in this society today, it is so hard to love. It is so hard to love your neighbor because we don't know our neighbor anymore, you know? And this is metaphorically, of course, but it it is so hard It's so easy to hate and it's so hard to love. And we have to ask ourselves, why is it so hard for us to love? And the honest truth of the matter is, it's because the world does not want love in it. And so there are people like me who call ourselves matrix assassins, or at least that's what I call myself, because I'm assassinating the matrix every day, all day, y'all know it. But it's people like me who are fighting to restore that love, to restore that balance, to understand that being all bad is bad and being all good is also equally bad as well. And there needs to be a balance, not just within ourselves, but within society, within the the laws, the regulations, just everything needs a balance. And right now is a perfect time to mention the world being extremely off balance. Why is it off balance? Because everyone is walking around and pretending like we didn't just have a pandemic. And not just any small pandemic, but something that was catastrophic, that had people so stressed out that people began to develop. People began to develop stress issues, hypertension, things of that nature linked to stress Because of the pandemic, the fear, the constant fear for more than one year of not having that job security or stability within finances, things being risen up and no one talking about those aspects of things. And that's why it's so hard to love, because how can you find love in your heart when you're in a society where everyone is just trying to survive? People begin to get aggressive. And I sat back and I've watched in the workplace. I've watched in the grocery store. I've watched in the park. And people are so into self right now. And we have this whole movement going around and it's talking about, you know, um, self-love and things of that nature and how self-love is just so important right now. Self-love is definitely important. 
But what is also important is having love. And you might ask me, Christy Lee, what do you mean having love? How can I love everyone I might get taken advantage of? Loving everyone doesn't mean giving yourself away. Loving everyone does not mean being naive, but holding the frequency of love in your heart at a higher understanding that everyone is going through something and it's not just your perspective, but it's her perspective and his perspective and their perspective as well. And bridging that gap, that's why I had to come back. I had to come back because there may be many people in the spiritual community that are talking about spirituality and raising the conscious vibrations and light workers and twin flames. But I had to understand that the way I relay that information is important as well. And no one can do it like I can do it. And that's not to get construed with the idea that I'm the only one who can do it. It's just that there are many different groups of people needing that message, needing that soul frequency. And it is so important for all of us to start speaking our truths and standing out and saying the things that need to be said. And that's why I'm back. Because I had to look at myself in the mirror take the mask off and really understand who I am. Why do I do what I'm doing? Besides just being automatic or it being a robotic muscle memory thing here, why do I do what I do and really come up with an actual answer to myself to regain my importance and reestablishing that foundation of how I want to pull down my blessings from the spiritual realm into this physical realm and manifest it? That is what the matrix is about keeping that away and every step of the way I have been roadblocked it's been times when I've had spiritual attacks waking up and just didn't want to do anything I would say I was going to get on Instagram live or I was going to meet up and do this and for some reason just saying it loudly someone heard and it didn't happen it didn't flourish I had to reestablish my boundaries my value. And here we are today in a world where people are craving the natural versions of our human self. And it's rare to find it. It's rare to find our women nurturing and happy and, and in a place of feeling stable. And it's hard to find our men in a place of needing and wanting and having that thrive to provide stability. And it's hard to find our children that have been loved and nurtured by their parents because our parents are forced to work long hours, which is taking time away from them actually giving that energetic love to their children. This is what they wanted. This is what they will not get because it's people like you and I who have purposes here and it's time for us to speak up about those purposes and become the best versions of ourselves and to wake up and start being consciously aware of our actions, consciously being aware of the words we speak, the way we maneuver in the world, how we show up in this world understanding that there is no longer a time where we are able to hide behind the veil, that our energy speaks louder than our facial expressions, <laughs> that our energy speaks louder than the designer that we wear. The Givenchy cannot cover up your attitude because your energy reeks. And so it forces us to go within and actually do healing work so that we don't keep evolving into a society of trauma, abuse. You know, they say that the crime rate is so high right now. There's people stealing catalytic converters and trucks are being stolen, so don't buy a truck. And then we have the TikTok Kia challenge that was going viral recently. 
And what I can definitely tell you is, it is not that people are just all evil. It is that the society has raised the standard of sensitivity. So people who would normally appall what a society norm is, the society norm has become to be this way. To think things of this nature are funny in the face of suffering. Why? Because the world has turned suffering into entertainment. And this is the matrix. And this is why I had to bring this podcast back. Because I have so much I've learned and spectated and seen. And I'm ready to share. Not only about my own journey and the things that I've discovered and the ancient wisdom that I've learned, but also with the twin flame journey and the struggles of a twin flame journey and how it's not always love and light. You know, that's the deception. And how there are so many things that want to stop and block that journey. It's wild. It really takes strength. Stay tuned because I have more to come and I'm here. I want to share my story, my trauma, what I've overcome in life, how I kept pushing the friends that were actually wishing harm on me and speaking death over my life, the mirror magic that people were doing, the way they wanted to talk down on me and convince me and place self-doubt within my own confidence just so they can steal those pieces of me for themselves. These things are real. And whether it sounds crazy to you or not doesn't take away from the, the truth that it's a fact, that it, it, it's real. The truth is always stranger than fiction. And for a while... For decades, people have been experiencing the same things that most of us in the spiritual community are speaking out about. The only difference is, is that now it's more acceptable. It's, it's more mainstream where you don't have to hide or worry about being burned at the stake for being called something that you're actually not because of someone else's lack of understanding, lack of conscious awareness. But we're here. And we're doing it. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Guess who's back? It's Chrissy Lee on this beat. Abundance is my mindset and that's where I'm at. I don't even understand if I'm really white or black. Because my ancestors told me I'm Egyptian. And I don't know why the 3D people out here tripping. They 